Welcome to CJ Software Logistics short feature where we attempt to answer the question, what is application virtualization? In this presentation, we'll focus on what application virtualization is, but we'll not be exploring specific products. The virtualization of an application involves capturing its installation into a self-contained package. When executed, the application typically cannot be seen by the operating system or other applications. The application, however, can view and utilize items on the local system just like any other application. There are currently three types of application virtualization technologies common to products available today. Redirection. An application is placed into a cache folder and registry location. When executed, the client falls the application to think it is being executed from standard locations. Layering. Applications are stored in virtual disks, which the client overlays with a system disk to provide a merged view. Virtual environment. Each application is stored in a micro virtual environment containing its own virtual file system and registry subsystem. The application is executed within the virtual environment, which has a merged view with the local system. All three technology types work in a similar way. When a virtualized application is executed, the associated client intercepts all files and registry requests and serves back a merged view of packaged and system files. The application then believes that it is running as though it is installed locally. Only packaged items are made available to the application and usually cannot be seen by the operating system or other applications. The following are some of the benefits of using an application virtualization solution. Due to the isolation of applications, you can run two versions of the same software side by side or even conflicting applications. Some application virtualization products allow the application to be streamed from a server. Only the parts of the application, even at a binary level, not just file by file, are cached to the target device, thus reducing the application's footprint. All of the major application virtualization products today allow an application to be reset to its original package state, removing all user modified configuration. This is useful in resolving unknown application issues. Unlike locally installed applications that scatter items across the system, virtual applications are cached and cleanly removed as self-contained packages. By using virtualized applications, you reduce the number of locally installed applications, which makes for a cleaner base operating system. And finally, some server client-based application virtualization solutions have the ability to track and report application usage, which in turn can translate into license reductions. It is worth noting that not all applications make good candidates for virtualization. Most application virtualization solutions are limited to one or more of these constraints, either due to the client's position in the operating stack, its boot order, or the application's isolation level. There are three main delivery methods of virtual applications. These are client-server streaming. The virtualized package is streamed to the target device's cache. As previously mentioned, Typically, only the parts of the application that are used are delivered when required. This should not be confused with another type of virtualization, where only screen, mouse and keyboard strokes are streamed. All processing is performed locally with application virtualization. Some application virtualization solutions, including some client-server solutions, can work in a standalone mode. In this instance, packages are simply copied to the target device and a command is run to import the package into the client cache. Package Client some virtual application packages are created as an executable. The executable includes the application and the client. The application is never cached but simply copied and the client is never installed. This is great for creating portable applications, but system and application integration is limited. Unfortunately, analysis of the many application virtualization products on offer is beyond the time we have in this presentation. If you feel that you'd like to investigate further into specific products, here is a list of those that we recommend you look at. If you would like to know more about application packaging and the services that we offer, please feel free to visit us at applicationpackaging.net, where you can also subscribe to our newsletter. You can contact us using the details shown, and you can find us on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. Thank you for watching.